it had to be done. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 edition, is directed by Michael Bay. I'm sorry, I mean Jonathan Leibesman. It stars Megan Fox as April O'Neil, who stumbles across four turtles who are ninjas, who live in the sewers, love pizza, and are trained by a rat named Splinter. And the evil Shredder and his Foot Clan are taking over the city, and they must stop them. Now, if you grew up in the 90s at all, You've heard of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You probably played some of the games. You probably watched the original films. You probably have merchandise. You probably saw the cartoons. You probably watched some of the newer cartoons. And you were probably one of the people who angrily typed on various forums that, oh my gosh, they're raping my childhood because look, it's Michael Bay and he's turning it into a Michael Bay fest. And I understand how you may feel that way, but here's my opinion on the whole thing. I've never really thought that any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies were really all that great. I think it's really just a lot of nostalgia. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles films were never trying to be Oscar-worthy movies. They were never really going for this amazing experience. They are turtles who live in a sewer, trained by a rat, and they love pizza. You can't really take that too seriously. Unless you grew up with those films, they're probably not going to be all that amazing to you because they're really just a slice of nostalgia from your childhood. So when I was watching this movie, I wasn't really that surprised by the fact that it's, it's not really that good. But I recognize that more than likely kids who see this movie will love it. And if they make a reboot 20 years from now, those kids who saw this movie in 2014 are going to say, they're raping my childhood, oh my gosh! Kids who grew up with this movie will go back and watch the one from the 90s and think it looks like crap. They're gonna think it looks like just a whole bunch of guys in rubber suits because that's what it was. I don't really think the director of this movie directed as much of it as he thinks he did because this really feels like a Michael Bay movie. The storytelling is so terrible. There's literally a scene in which William Fickner brings April O'Neil into his room he has an entire map laid out on the wall, which I'm going to refer to as the exposition room. He has a map on his wall with artistic drawings in which he can explain the entire history of his life. And so much of the storytelling you need to understand this film is done through flashbacks or someone overhearing a conversation. It's all very lazy. Just like with Michael Bay, whenever there is an action scene that does not involve 100% digital effects, he just shakes the camera around over and over again. But when you have the turtles doing their ninja moves and you have Splinter and Shredder fighting, it's very fluid, it's very vivid, and that's because it's an entirely digitally created shot. So there's a lot of skill there in regards to the computer technicians who created that scene, but as for direction, you can't really get into it because it feels like you're watching a cartoon. It's really a movie that's made for younger kids and I think they'll enjoy it because there's a really cool action scene in this film with an avalanche scene that I thought was done really well. Some of the action is fun and exciting. Some of the turtles tell some funny jokes, but for the most part, it's really just a Michael Bay movie with Megan Fox running around screaming a damsel in distress and a terrible, terrible comedic side character in Will Arnett, who is absolutely awful and completely miscast in this film. The film tries to make you care about certain emotional beats that you just don't care about. There's an endless amount of product placement, of course, including an absolutely gratuitous shot in which the turtles use their shells to become the bikini on a Victoria's Secret billboard ad to cover the girl's boobs. Thanks, Michael Bay. One other thing, this movie has literally the exact same ending as The Amazing Spider-Man. If you've seen that film, I'm not gonna spoil it for you since it's the ending, but just watch it. Every single thing that happens in that ending is exactly what happens at the end of The Amazing Spider-Man. I'll put it this way, if you enjoyed the Transformers films quite a bit, you'll probably really like this movie. If you are looking for even a shred of clever filmmaking that doesn't involve a whole bunch of special effects thrown at your face, you're not really gonna have a lot of fun with this movie. I'm gonna give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a D plus, but in all honesty, I don't think this film degrades any of the other films that came before it because a lot of them really weren't that great to begin with and it's just kind of more of the same just with a lot of CGI thrown in. Guys, if you do see this movie, let me know what you think below, and thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>also, I wanted to really quickly let you guys know that the really awesome people at audible.com have kept me on as an advertiser for them for the rest of this year. That's been a big help to me and I've received a lot of messages from you guys thanking me for all of the free audiobooks and that is so awesome. I'm really glad you guys are benefiting from that. If you go to audible.com slash Chris, you can download a free audiobook of your own choice. I downloaded a lot of Stephen King's books because he's one of my favorite authors. There's a lot of really cool stuff on there and I hope you guys do check that out. You can download 
any audiobook you want, narrated by many celebrities straight to your phone, your tablet, your PC, your iPod, whatever you want to use to listen to these things, you can. It's awesome. Check out audible.com slash Chris. Thanks so much to Audible for continuing to support my videos, and thank you so much to you guys who have downloaded stuff from them. You guys rock.